friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. A 90 years old gentleman has come with this rock hard cataract. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11 o'clock. And now, a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 o'clock hours away. And then an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. And now tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. When the dye is applied underneath an air bubble, staining is quick. This is a bit of adrenaline. And now the dye is washed out with the help of this 23 gauze Simco cannula and BSS. 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and it is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. And now a capsulorexis forceps, a uterata forceps is being used for capsulorexis. And in heart cataracts, I always do a large rexis. When you do a large rexis, management of the fragments become easier and stress on the jonule become less. Rexis is done, now hydrodissection. A 27 gauze cannula is used, small helicots or PSS is injected at multiple points and the nucleus is gently balloted. And then an attempt is made to rotate the nucleus and we find that the nucleus rotates easily. Some more visco to fill up the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the FECO handpiece. This is Oatly Cataracts 3 FECO machine. The FECO needle goes in with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. Now watch submarine jaw. The nucleus is pushed little down. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator. As it reaches near the opposite equator, a good crack is obtained. And now the nuclear mass is rotated 180 degree, come to the other side, hold on heminucleus with vacuum and a complete separation of the two heminuclei are done. This is the larger heminucleus and I am going to divide this into three fragments. This is one, then I come to the larger piece, hold it very firmly and chop it. And now, these three fragments are being emulsified. I am in FECO2 mode from the very beginning where the vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Ultrasonic energy is 85 percent in this case and flow rate is 45 ml per minute. The nuclear fragments are being emulsified and now this is the another small fragment. I start emulsifying the fragments from its apex. These are very hard nucleus and the sharp apex if it goes towards the posterior capsule it will cause a lot of pressure at a point and it may sometimes pierce the posterior capsule. So always uh, start emulsifying the pieces from the apex. And now this is the other piece I've divided into two pieces, two fragments and emulsify. At this time, I found that the posterior capsule is coming forward. So, my plan is to emulsify the nucleus 
and leave the epinucleus. I want to remove the epinucleus after implanting the intraocular lens. Yes, I am going to keep this shell. If we try to remove this and if the posterior capsule comes forward, there is a chance of posterior capsular end. We have managed this hard nucleus with so much caution and if we cause a piece rent at the last moment, it becomes a painful experience. So, better to implant the intraocular lens when we find that the posterior capsule is coming forward. After implanting the intraocular lens, we can easily emulsify the epinuclear shell over the intraocular lens scaffold. So, I take the FECO needle again and emulsify this epinucleus. At this time, I am in FECO 3 mode where the ultrasonic energy is 50 percent, flow rate is 30 and vacuum is 300. The epinuclear shell is emulsified. I spent little more time to remove some viscoelastic substance and some lens fibers. And now, this is washing the viscoelastic substance with the help of the Simco cannula. And the Simco cannula is removing some cortex from wherever it is there. And we have done a good job in this 90 year old gentleman. So, even if the patient is very old and the cataract is very hard, it is possible to do a safe surgery. We can leave this small piece of nucleus, last nuclear piece or last bit of epinuclear shell and remove that piece over IOL scaffold. The sideboard is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is then formed very nicely and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.